Lord Mandelson got something of a surprise when he arrived for the launch of the government's Low Carbon Economy Summit this morning. As Joey Jones reports, an environmental campaigner threw a cup of green custard over the business secretary. Bright and early, but the smile is about to be wiped from Peter Mandelson's face. Oh, Oh, God, sir, get away. As the business secretary scurried off, his assailant explained herself. He corrupted our government in order to bring about something that's going to destroy the climate. And then, along with a fellow protester, she strolled off. Undaunted, Lord Mandelson returned five minutes later for a live interview. We need to get back onto the positive stuff, I think, about the future of our economy and not bother too much with adolescent uh, protests. And when he spoke to journalists later on, he warned them not to over-dramatise the incident. Of course, whilst I'm prepared to take my fair share of the uh, uh, Green Revolution onto my shoulders, I'm less keen on having it in my face. You know, I don't, you know, invite uh, these sorts of incidents, but I also don't think you know, anyone should overreact. And if there's a security issue, uh, that's not for me, uh, it's for the police and others. You know, I lived with permanent round-the-clock security when I was Northern Ireland secretary. Uh, I, I don't think I need to go back to that. Lord Mandelson there. Peter Mandelson has been around in politics. He, more than most, knows that this sort of thing can go with the territory. Applause George Galloway, Brian Mulwiney, <laughs> Tony Blair in the House of Commons, no less. Oh, At least Mandelson didn't do a press cut. Leila Dean seems to enjoy brushes with notoriety. Here she is protesting in 2005 and today, from her point of view, was a job well done. I came here today to make a point and I think I've made that point. He's standing here um, on a platform of low, uh, to talk about low carbon, um, low carbon futures and low carbon industry. And the only thing green about Mr. Mendelssohn is the slime that's coursing through his veins. Well, it doesn't look like this green puddle will be around much longer, but there are some sticky security issues that could take a while more to erase. Security around senior politicians is supposed to be unobtrusive. But when Peter Mandelson came in here this morning, it wasn't unobtrusive. It was non-existent. They'd like you to give him some short-term protection experience to see that that may well just, you know, calm things down. In the long term, I think it's probably unlikely um, by virtue of cost, and I think then you'll be setting a precedent, uh, and then if we're not too careful, you'll have the entire cabinet be in receipt of personal protection. Ultimately, Peter Mandelson seems not too bothered about it. Remember, this is a man who prides himself on a colourful career, and this morning he was fluorescent. Joey Jones, Sky News, Westminster.